Alexander Romanov. At this time last year, a lot of media types like myself, a lot of fans were marveling at the player he could become and the attitude and the energy he was showing. To this point now in the regular season, obviously just kind of, you know, it started the calendar. Think about it. This is the calendar year in 2021 where Alexander Romanov introduced himself to Canadians fans. And now we're in November and Alexander Romanov finds himself as a healthy scratch with the Montreal Canadiens. I think we have to ask the question here. Is is Alexander Romanov actually NHL ready? I, From what I've seen over the last few games, I've seen a lot of stuff that seems to suggest he's not as ready as we thought he was. Physically, he is. He's like a raw, was it three-year-old thoroughbreds running the Kentucky Derby? He's like the two-year-old thoroughbred. He's, all the physical abilities are there. He's a little over-anxious at times. He's a little, you know, he's the first guy on the ice every practice. He's a really rambunctious type of guy, lively guy, and he plays like that on the ice. The physical abilities are all there, the skating, the size, the physicality, the shot. It's all there, but he's raw. So what the Canadians need to decide is, and as the playoffs slip further away as a possibility, are you willing to live with his raw mistakes moving forward? Let him play, let him make his mistakes, bring him to the bench, have Luke Richardson talk with him, put him back out there. Because he's a raw rookie and Rick, you know, the – once a raw rookie in the NHL, too, it's a tough league to play in as a defenseman. He's going to make mistakes. They just need to decide if they're willing to let him make these mistakes at the NHL level. Uh, I think making him a healthy scratch and in and out. You know, once the playoffs are fully out of the picture, which they probably will be by Christmas, the way this team is going, I think then you just got to let him play, let him be raw, let him make his mistakes because he is an NHL defenseman. He has the physical ability to be. He just needs to learn the mental part of the game, the pinch, when not to pinch, and – I think he'll figure that out, but it's just a case now. How are the Canadians going to teach him that? Yeah, and uh, as you guys know, I've been I've been a Romanov fan and singing his praises uh, for a while now. With you know the potential to be a really good player, obviously that is not happening at this point. But the kid is a good. Uh, he's a good kid. He's got great great potential uh, to become a a good player. Right now, he's doing a lot of running around. Uh, he's he's been you know used with different partners, which I think is very critical in the development of a young defenseman. You have to put him with a guy and let him play with that guy for a while. A stable, uh, simple type uh, of defenseman that keeps uh, keeps his Romanov in check as far as what he needs to do and not do. But he is very much out of sync, as we all know, not doing it. But uh, again, 21 years old, young guy uh, on the blue line, have to be careful how we handle uh, this situation because um, you don't want to lose them. You want to develop them. And, uh, you know, it might be a case of uh, let them play. Let the uh, Richardson do some video stuff with them, break it down into the fine details of the game, what he needs to do, and, you know, let him figure it out uh, with time. But I'd be more concerned if he didn't have all the tools. He has the tools. He just hasn't been able to put them all together right now. And, um, you know, it's uh, it's unfortunate, but this is the growing pains of a young defenseman that um, hasn't got his uh, his best game uh, out there yet. But uh, let's keep the faith because he uh, he has the, uh, the ability to become a good defenseman at the NHL level. I'm a bit more critical of Romanov than you guys are. Uh, I think he has the physical tools, but... I think when you're making the like bad turnovers and kind of like the boneheaded puck playing plays in the defensive zone and neutral zone that Romanov does, you kind of accept that with a young defenseman who is able to either transition the puck extremely well or creates a lot of offense. And Romanov does neither. Uh, in the offensive zone, you always know what he's going to do. He's going to take a shot. Most times it's blocked or wide. He likes to try to pick that far side corner and then immediately exit the zone. And he likes to take that shot often when his defense partner is pinched already <laughs> or out of position. So it's going. And if the other team realizes it, they've got a breakaway or a two on one. So the decision making, I think, is highly questionable for me. And I think the overall like maximum skill set that I see from Romanov doesn't really justify living with the decision making. So I'm at the point right now where I can see the physical tools, I can see the hitting, I can see the shot blocking, but 
if he doesn't change his style of play pretty significantly to try to take advantage more of those physical tools and play within himself and make some better decisions in all three zones, I think he's more likely to be out of the league than a consistent like top four guy in the next couple of years here. Well, one of the things that Canadians are very good at is killing the confidence of their young prospects. They're very, very good at doing that. We've seen it with Kotkaniemi, and we've seen it with so many other players, Mete. If, if it's going to be the Romanov, if it's going to be play a game, healthy scratch, play a game, I'd rather them send them down to Laval, play them 27 minutes a game, put them on the power play, put them on the PK, play the hell out of them, put them in every situation, do that and let them make his mistakes down there if you're not willing to let him make him in the NHL. And, and at this point, that might even be the best route for him. Go down there, 27 minutes a game. You're the number one guy. You're the stud with the rocket. You're out there and every, let him do that for a season. And then maybe when he comes back, we'll see the more polished version uh, of Romanov because he has all the physical skills. Well, I'm not, I'm not defending Romanov in his, his mistakes that he's making, but I'll tell you what, there's some other guys back there on the blue line that are uh, – are not doing very well as far as their decision making either. Uh, so true. collectively, I think that uh, they're they're really having a hard time, uh, you know, meshing as a group back there. And uh, then, of course, the young guys get you know pulled out uh, as you know not getting the job done. And uh, Romanov, he isn't doing it, but uh, I think with some time and some work, uh, we can settle him down because um, we need him. Let us know in the comments section what you think about Alexander Romanov. Is he NHL ready? Does he need more seasoning? I understand. He, I think he might have a European assignment clause in his contract that if he's not playing in the NHL, he could always bolt back to Russia. What could be done with Alexander Romanov? Let us know in the comments section. Subscribe to the Hockey Inside Out newsletter, the YouTube page, and visit HockeyInsideOut.com for more stuff.